Hello, fans of the internet. My name is Starlos, and welcome to a ripoff of Crash Royale. I actually forgot the name of this game. It's coming to me. Force Arena. Star Wars Force Arena. It's basically a ripoff of Clash Royale, but it's better. I think it's amazing. I played Clash Royale. It was god-awful. So, I'm gonna just take you through the steps of all that. We will be opening this one. So we will be opening a pack in this episode, and uh, these are the decks. Um, you have Luke Skywalker, you can play as the Rebels or the Empire, and then I have Sabrine Wren, I don't know how to say that. Then over here I unlocked the Grand Inquisitor and Boba Fett. Then you have all these cards, you can have two decks per faction, so you can have the Inquisitor deck, Boba Fett deck, Sabrina deck, and Luke Skywalker deck, and all that. So we're actually going to play as Boba Fett here, then we're going to play as the Inquisitor, and then in the next episode we'll play as Luke Skywalker and maybe Sabine, maybe. So we're going to go with a 2v2. It does take a little while. This game has just came out maybe like a month ago. So the servers are not all that good, so it takes at least a minute to, you know. Okay, so we got a battle discovered. So this is 2v2, so I'm paired up with Darth Vader, it's another player from around the world, and we face off against two other players. And this game is actually really addicting, I, lo I love it. I've been playing non-stop for about four days. But as I was saying, the servers aren't all that great. So, so the goal is to get on the other side and basically destroy the turrets, as you see here. On our side we have these turrets, and on their side they also have turrets. And the whole goal... So Han Solo is coming over here. See, I think it's way better than Clash Royale. It's like a nice 3D effect. And it's Star Wars, like, come on. So some heroes can have a partnered hero. Uh, Han Solo has Chewbacca, Boba Fett has IG-88. But I haven't unlocked them. They are kind of rare. Alright, so we actually might lose this. Yeah, alright, they got one turned down. Let's just see if we can get this turn right over here. Yeah, I think we lost. We lost. Winky. Alrighty, we lost. So, uh, you also get play points. For losing, you get one. For winning, you get three. And having a stalemate is two. And if you get ten, you get a free uh, card pack. Alright, so let's go 1v1, then we'll switch off to the Inquisitor. And then we'll open a pack. And then we'll call it a video.
So I will be posting this on Monday for Mobile Gaming Monday. It is kind of hard because I do use Airshow and their certificate always gets revoked. So you have um, like anti-infantry, you have anti-vehicle, then you have uh, light vehicles and heavy vehicles. I only have a light vehicle. And basically, they just help out with uh, destroying turrets. Then, the Empire does have some things that are just theirs. Like, we have a Dioxus grenade, and the Dioxus grenade uh, poisons heroes or infantry, which I really love. I think it's more better to play as. Oh, well, I just did that. Uh, better as the Imperials. I think they are way much more capable of winning. But Boba Fett does have... He's really weak. The Inquisitor is much stronger. So some heroes are obviously better than others. So the main goal, if you see right there, the level 5 uh, shield generator, you have two minutes to destroy the shield generator or turrets. Whoever destroys the most turrets or the shield generator first wins. So right now I am winning. Alright, so I'm going to just get this health over here. So Luke Skywalker does deflect some blaster bolts, which I do kind of hate. So we only have uh, 30 seconds here, so it's not going to be that bad. Alright, so we won. And I always put a little winky face. Show them that I'm good. Alright, so let's play as the Inquisitor. So if you change to the Inquisitor, you obviously get uh, your card pack changed. Okay, so all right, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Okay, we discovered a battle. Hopefully they don't leave. Okay, so it's Darth Vader, Inquisitor versus someone. I don't know who we're versing. But the 2v2 maps are a little bit bigger. You can go down the middle or the sides. In 1v1, you can't go down the middle. There's just a lot of wait time for this game. That's the one thing I hate. But it is new, so... Okay, so it's uh, new characters that we're facing. Oh, they're going right with the tanks. Okay, go away. So he has a partner, which is, um... Cade, something, I don't know. I didn't watch Rebels. But uh, they also have partners. Uh, the partner for the Inquisitor is just another Inquisitor.
Okay, so we might actually lose this. I'm just saying. What? His lasers are way better than mine. Yeah, we definitely lost. <laughs> I do need to edit the deck for the Inquisitor. It is a little lacking. Alright, let's just do a 1v1 and open a pack and call it a day. Okay, so we're gonna take. We're gonna edit. We're gonna put this in. We're gonna put you in. And that's it. Okay, so we're facing Han Solo. So this is what I just do right after the bat. I just poison them. Alright, so we got one, we got two of the turrets, so all we have to do is just take down the shield generator, which I will do right now. That's actually a lot of guys. So as you can see, the Inquisitor is more powerful than Boba Fett, obviously. Did it. Good game. Okay. So let's open up this one. I don't really care about the diamonds and see what we get. I mean, we got really nothing. So you can trade, um, I can't really trade right now, I can trade in about 3 hours. You can trade 10 common cards for a rare, 10 for a rare, for an epic, 10 epic for a unique, and a unique for a legendary, or a legendary for a legendary. And that's basically it for the game. I will be doing Rebels in an next episode. Thank you all for watching, and have a good one.